Today's video is inspired by the movie Elf. It is one of my absolute favorite movies. Even non-holiday movies is one of my favorites. So we're going to start out with an elf themed gnome. Because when you know what else is my favorite, gnomes. Okay, so I'm just going to take a sock. And now if I just had a plain green sock, that would be best. But this is what I had. So I'm going to just start with a white sock. Now I know a lot of people say don't use popcorn when making these gnomes because of rodents. I store all my decor in airtight bins and then it's out for a small amount of time. I do have pest control so I think I'm good but yes it's a very good thing to take into consideration for what you put inside um, to weight it. So I had this sock again it's all the green I had, so I'm just making the best of it here by just pulling that little bit of green from a pattern sock. Okay, and it worked perfect. Okay, so now that I have my sock filled and I have the little green sock covered, I'm going to go ahead and make the felt hat. So I'm kind of just wrapping it around there, deciding how tall I want the hat, and then I will cut a strip. Once the strip is cut, I'll kind of roll it into a cone shape. And that is how I decide for the hat. I'm sure there's probably patterns all over the internet for the hats and these. I don't know why I don't follow a pattern. I wing it every single time. I just wing it and it always seems to work out. So you can see here, I'm just, again, winging it, but I just uh, rolled it into a cone shape. I place it onto my gnome body just to see kind of if it's going to work and all that. And it is. So now I will just cut it down and then I will glue it together. Jingle bells ring. Chop the rain, these are falling down. We stay up waiting for seven tonight. He climbs down the Okay, so since this is elf themed, he's going to need a yellow ribbon around his hat as well as a red feather. If you haven't seen this movie, it's hilarious. You need to give it a watch. I just, I'm a big Will Ferrell fan, so I just think he's so funny. And the movie just has so many hilarious <laughs> parts in it. It's just, I can literally watch it in like the month of June. It's just, it's just a good movie. So I was um, excited to make this and just kind of have this in my home, in my kitchen this year. Um, because it is something that truly does make me smile. So again, I'm just putting these felt pieces together. Um, I... These are just pieces of felt I've collected along the way, but I'm pretty sure any craft store sells felt. Even Dollar Tree um, has rolls of felt, and I'm pretty sure they have all of these colors. So super easy, great to have on hand. I use them mostly for gnomes. I like to have all the holiday gnomes. Okay, so this uh, stocking is from, you guessed it, Dollar Tree. And I love that brown fur. Now we know Buddy the Elf, he doesn't have a beard, but he does have brown hair. And so I wanted um, our elf here, our elfy gnome, to have a brown beard. And so we could also think of this as kind of being Papa Elf. Of course, even Papa Elf in the movie, he doesn't have a beard. But again, this is just inspired. And this is a super easy way to make a beard. And I just kind of cut it into shape and I glue it down. Um, that stocking, by the way, super cute, and you can use the buffalo plaid material for ornaments, all sorts of things. That stocking will go a long way. So I'm just going to fit the hat on here um, to make sure I like how it fits, and I will glue it down, and then I'm just going to use this little um, ball here. They're actually supposed to be the hands 
um, if you do gnomes with hands, but I'm going to use that for its little nose and look how cute he turned out. Super simple, super simple elf themed gnome. Okay, so I wanted to let you know today is a collaboration with the Lisas of YouTube. We're just having such a fun time now that we found each other on YouTube and we keep wanting to do collabs together. So we each picked a movie and our DIYs are going to be made around that movie theme. So of course my movie is Elf. Please check down in the description for the other Lisas and go check them out. I took this sign from Dollar Tree, I flipped it over and I painted it with linen white chalk paint from Rust-Oleum. And then I went to my Cricut and I printed out um, this little saying from the movie Elf. Now, I want to make you understand you do not need a Cricut because all you need to do is print this out on your printer and then cut it to size and Mod Podge it down or glue stick it down. Super simple. I just wanted to use my um, Cricut because I have it and wanna use it, wanna make the most of my money. So I go ahead and I layer it down. I choose the color that has the bottom image so that way when I layer, I know I'm not gonna run out of room. And so I got this SVG from Creative Fabrica, which is one of my favorite places to get SVGs. Um, they usually run one, two dollars um, per image, but you can get unlimited. And right now, if you grab the link in my description, you can get unlimited for an entire month for one dollar. So go in, download as many as you want, one dollar super good deal so uh this one says i like smiling smiling is my favorite one of my favorite quotes from the movie i also took this little dollar sign from dollar general flipped it over and put another saying on here now i realized from the movie it's the best way to spread christmas cheer is to sing loud for all to hear i didn't realize that i had grabbed that graphic and it didn't say that, but anyhow, no big deal, still works. Once again, I cut out something on my Cricut there. It's a cotton-headed ninny muggins, which is super cute and funny again, but as you can see there, you could easily Mod Podge that right down on that tag. Now that tag is from Hobby Lobby. You get 12 of them for $5. Of course, you can get them on sale, so it'd be even better. Now I'm gonna make a beaded garland and I kinda wanted to try out three different methods of coloring your beads. Okay, so this first method is putting some paint down in your bowl, add some water and roll them around. Okay, that's method number one. And then once I've done that, I'm just gonna kind of um, put them here on this stem. Now this is a stem that used to have flowers on it that I ripped all the flowers off for a project and I use it for projects like this. So you can see it's a little messy, it's a little watery, I should have had like a paper towel down. Okay, method two. I'm going to squirt paper, paper, <laughs> I'm gonna squirt paint into the Ziploc bag, zip it up, put my beads in, and then as you can see, I'm just kind of rolling them around uh, with my fingers. And then I will take them out and I will also um, string them onto a skewer stick to dry. I think this method might have worked a little better if I had added water because the paint is kind of thick on these and it took a little bit longer to dry. And in the end, it has kind of a thicker texture to it that I don't like. But again, this was an experiment I figured this would be good for all of us to kind of see the different methods. Okay, method number three, I'm stringing them all on a skewer here, and then I'm just going to hand paint them. Okay, so hand painting them, I think, is how I started, and realizing that one, it takes a really long time, and two, it really doesn't turn out that great. Okay, so I was, so I'm going to tell you, the winner 
by far to me is the yellow. So put a little paint in a bowl, add a little water, roll them around. So you can see the green here. The green looks good, but because I was hand painting it, I missed spots. The red is just a little thick. You can see how it left some paint. You can even see it here on the paper towel. But the yellow, yellow is bomb. Yellow is good. So that's going to be the method. It's my typical method, but I kind of want to try some others out. I just strung it on a piece of twine and added the tag, and that gives us a super cute little garland. Now, in the movie Elf, he finds the world's best cup of coffee, and so I thought I would just put this little uh, transfer here on the back of one of my little radon mugs. Now, also in the movie, the Etch-A-Sketch, in kind of the opening scenes, he's making them, and then later on, he makes his list of what he wants to do with his new dad, and so I knew the Etch-A-Sketch had to make an appearance on my tear tray, and I picked it up at Target. It was like $5, super cute for my decor, and my daughter can play with it down the road. So we also need a narwhal and some maple syrup. So in the movie, we know that the four major food groups for elves is candy, candy canes, candy corns, and syrup. So to make the syrup, I just Google imaged some syrup, uh, label. I just printed it out and wrapped it around the bottle. I didn't find a small bottle of syrup, but I found this small bottle of uh, caramel syrup for your coffee. So that worked just as well. Lastly, I picked up this cute little set from Fisher Price. I found it on Amazon and it was an absolute must to add to my elf tear tray. I hope you enjoyed these elf inspired DIYs. I think it makes a super fun um, addition to my Christmas decor. It really brings a smile to my face because it is such a cute and fun movie. I have more Christmas videos to come, so I hope you will subscribe so you don't miss out on those. All right, until next time, happy crafting. Chimney at the speed of light While we're dancing around the Christmas tree Hugging and kissing